Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Darren Nakakihara and I'm a fourth grade teacher in Southern California. It is Tuesday, January 9th and it's raining, which can mean only one thing, regatta. So regatta is something that Brandon and I came up with a few years ago when it started raining here in Southern California. We were getting like these torrential rains and everybody was like batting down the hatches. And he and I were like, let's go outside and play. <laughs> so we got our kids to build these little paper boats and race them down this, um, this uh, little like river that was created from all the rain and we started calling it regatta. And every time it rains, we have the kids build these paper boats and we have these races. So as fun as that seems, there is a little depth to this project. There, it is aligned to quite a few NGSS standards. Oh, look who it is. Miss Gould, come here. You guys, have I ever introduced you to Miss Gould? Have you been in my vlog before? Uh, it was a while back. <laughs> tell, them, tell them who you are. Who am I? I do a lot of things. I, she, she wears many hats here at Beacon Park. Yes, I get to teach the middle schoolers a uh, couple elective classes. I'm the librarian. I do the leadership class. Wow, you do a lot of things here. I'm busy. Yes. Just juggling all the things, all at once. She has Make many, many balls in the air, you guys. <laughs> How many, how many more can we add to her plate? No more. <laughs> no more. So, um, as I was saying, the regatta, paper boat races, there are there is a lot of depth to this project. There is many NGSS standards, and I'll link those below so that um, if you want to try this regatta, please feel free to jump on board because it is something that is so fabulously fun. I, you know what, I, I've been watching all your vlogs and I see that it's snowing where you're at. So maybe you could have like paper sledding races. So one of the things that we love about this project is it brings us back to our childhood for one. I remember floating these paper boats down the gutter by my house. Shoo, shoo, shoo. So much fun. But it just brings out creativity in these kids and, and it allows them to explore. And if you watched yesterday's video, you saw that, or you heard that the kids were, they were just exploring the, their creativity and they were coming up with these ideas that were just so far out there. It wasn't just, you know, here's how you make a paper boat and everybody's boat comes out the same. They all have their own ideas on what would work and we're gonna find out what does. Miss Cross is here this morning. Hello. It's her second day. She came back, guys. He didn't scare me off yet. <laughs> she wants to know if there's anything that she could do this morning. Yeah, I haven't gotten an answer. So I'm looking around. No, come on, we were so prepared. We, we worked hard this weekend. We did. We put in a lot of hours Saturday to make sure the week was ready to go. Rainy days, guys. Rainy days. It really throws a wrench into everything that you plan, right? I couldn't even imagine trying to teach in a snow day. What do you do, those kids? Hey, those backpacks better be straight and organized. That's all I gotta say. That's not all I gotta say, but that's one of the things I have to say.
Okay, the big moment of truth is happening. We brought the kids outside and we're gonna start our regatta race. Regatta! Okay, so we just got done with regatta. Miss Cross, what'd you think? It was so cool. It was really interesting to see which boats made it, which ones didn't. There was a ditch at the end of the gutter, so some boats just sunk straight down, yeah. and it was really neat to see which one survived yeah. it. So the key to this project is you have to give them a chance to redesign mm -hmm. and come back with a different design. So what I love, I was telling you, what I love about it is the original design that they have in their head and that they come up with is totally different than the ones that they come back and after they redesign. So, um, yeah, they get just come through. They get so caught up with the like sails, and then the sails are too heavy and they fall over. But given the chance again to come back with flatter, more aerodynamic yeah, yeah. designs that totally make it right yeah. through. And they have to deal with the elements. So the the course had that that what the you were ditch, talking about. Yeah. yeah, there was a ditch. So the, um, I'll show it to you in the video, but the rain gutter ended and it drops off into this little reservoir that they have to survive. Yeah. And a lot of the boats just sank right there. Or like later in the course, it's not as deep as other parts. Yeah, so yeah. Boats that are too heavy just stop completely. But then I really like that they got the chance to try it again. Yeah. I didn't think they were gonna be able to do that. And kids tried four, five, six times, yeah. and they were so excited. We heard one kid when we were walking through, be like, I learned how to make a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a winner, that yes. was a good one. So regatta, <laughs> regatta is such a big part of NGSS. The standards, the new science standards, this is like perseverance, the redesign and the thought process that goes behind it. So important, regatta guys, I highly recommend it. If you live in an area where it rains a lot, you can do like a natural regatta, but we had to like make our own course with a with a garden hose. Yeah, and then they can take it home. Like, <laughs> I'm sure this will get kids outside. They'll be like, whoa, it's raining. Yeah. I'm gonna go play in the gutters mm -hmm. or who knows. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching today. And if you are not a subscriber, please hit the like and the subscribe below. And thank you for coming and watching and spending some time with Miss Cross and myself over and out. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>